underlying your concerns rather than trying to answer every possible question you might have had. First, well, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far-reaching implications. It requires radical thinking and revision of our genetic inheritance. It also requires planning and forethought that run in direct opposition to our neural increases. I find it helpful at times like these to remind myself that our true enemy is instinct. Instinct was our mother when we were an infant species. Instinct coddled us and kept us safe in those I'd like to help you, but it's out of question. We hardened our steps, cooked our first meals, bubbled the fire, and started at the shadows that leapt upon the caverns of Paul. But inseparable from instinct is its dark twin, superstition. Instinct is inextricably bound to unreasoning impulses, and today we clearly see its true nature. Instinct has just become aware of its irrelevance. And like a cornered beast, it will not go down without a blood fight. Instinct would inflict a fatal injury on our species. Instinct creates its own oppressors and bids us rise up against them. Instinct tells us that the unknown is a threat rather than an opportunity. Instinct standing covertly compels us away from change and progress. Instinct, therefore, must be expanded. It must be fought to and made, beginning with the basis of human urges, the urge to reproduce. We should thank our benefactors for giving us respite this overpowering force. They have thrown a switch and exercised our demons at a single stroke. They have given us the strength we never could have summoned to overcome this compulsion. They have turned our eyes towards the stars. Let me assure you that this is a will be a on the day.